Everybody, Mac here. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bricktober. What we have today to look at in this quick show and tell is Migo, Young Frankenstein, Igor, and Migo, Phantom of the Opera, Mask of the Red Death. Now, if you've seen the show before and you've seen me with these Migo figures, you know I don't open them up. They're going to stay in the box, so we're really just going to take a quick look at them. And we're going to start with Igor over here first. That that is a great likeness of the late, great Marty Feldman from Young Frankenstein, Mel Brooks's seminal piece. Pretty much all black. I love the buckle. I love how he has, I don't know if you can see, yeah, right there, he has his hump on back. The only thing that would make that even better is if it's loose and you can move it from shoulder to shoulder, which you probably can, but also look at those big bug eyes. That is fantastic. I had been waiting to get this because my target had one, but even in the packaging, there was dirt on the nose and the chin. So I had been waiting for somebody to buy that so they would get a replacement. And get a replacement they did. And we got a nice clean one here. So I dig that. I like the boots too. On the back, you got a great picture of Marty right there with Abby Norma. Love that movie. That was a great movie. Still have to watch that for this year. And then we have the Phantom of the Opera Mask of the Red Death. Now, they have a regular Phantom of the Opera figure that I haven't picked up yet. But I wanted to get this one specifically because I love this Mask of the Red Death look on him. The skull head on it is fantastic. I like how he has the big hat, the cloth robe. On back, we have a great shot from the movie of him in costume. This was actually hard to find. This I had to get from my buddies at Grey Dog Toys and Comics. They went out, they hunted one down for me. I think they picked it up at a show they were doing in Ohio, and they brought it back and they got it for me. So big thanks to them. Unfortunately though, with the robe, how it's all like bunched up in there, you don't get to see much, but I think underneath it's basically just like a red nylon outfit anyway, but the skull head is really the reason to pick this one up. I really liked that. Now, something else, just a quick update that I want <clears throat> excuse me, that I wanted to tell you is that there were supposed to be some figures that were supposed to come in this month that I was going to do for Halloween Day for Bricktober. It was the Jada Toys Universal Monsters series. There was four of them, or there is four of them. There's Dracula. There's Frankenstein's monster, there's the Bride of the Monster, and there's the Creature from the Black Lagoon. And I really wanted to have those guys ready for you, and I wanted to have them up for Halloween Day, but that's not going to happen. The shipping date has been pushed back to November now, but honestly, with the way shipping is going, I'm betting I may not get those until next year, so we'll have to wait and see. But once I get them, we'll put them up, we'll take a look at them. I'm really looking forward to them. I'm excited about them. I think they look great. And something else to bring you up to date on, even though you probably have seen it already because it was revealed yesterday and I didn't get to make a video for it, G.I. Joe Classified, even after PulseCon, announced two new figures for the Classified line, the Cobra Officer and the Cobra Alley Viper. And the Officer is basically a redesign, it looks like, of the Trooper and the Infantry Trooper. Blue body, new mold, looks like a new vest, new weapons too, that he actually has real world weapons, a pistol, a submachine gun, removable magazines, a knife, and, it, and an AK-47, which is a great callback to the vintage figure, and I've been looking for AKs for my Cobra Infantry Troopers to outfit them with, so that's going to be cool. This might be another army builder, not sure. That one is up for pre-order on Big Bad Toy Store, and as one of my viewers had commented on in the PulseCon video, yes, that one is the mystery figure for the Big Bad Toy Store 3-pack, so I actually already have that on pre-order, but I might get another one just so that I have two. The Alley Viper looks great. The Alley Viper looks like, at first glance, a dead ringer for the vintage 3 and 3 quarter inch figure all grown up. The color, the look, the design, the weapons. I can't wait to get my hands on one or two of those. 
They haven't been put up for pre-sale yet, so we don't know if that's going to be an exclusive, which I don't think it's going to be. I think that will be just a general release, but there's no order information on that yet either. And finally, the reason I didn't get to put up a video, not even a short, about that yesterday, as I do sometimes, is because I've been working on a podcast production of Orson Welles' War of the Worlds to put up for Halloween. Some of you may know that the other side of my life is that I run a uh, performing arts, a theater company, and we wanted to do something for Halloween, and since stage performances aren't really bringing in crowds quite yet. We wanted to do something that we could get out there to the public. And that is going live tomorrow, Friday. So I'll put a link somehow to that if in case you're interested in listening. So that's what I got for you today. Just a quick one. So I'll see you. I will see you definitely on Sunday, on Halloween day, because I do have something for you for Halloween that I think you're going to like. So until then, happy Halloween, everyone. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.